Yo. Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... <sighs> well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. In my dream, her soul was in an android body. The way Miyuki and Abba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They already happened. It's all in the past. So she was watching me this whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. No, wait. I'm the one who approached her. And she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey, maybe this isn't so bad after all. So she's been monitoring me this whole time? She's actually some Secret Service government spy? That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. here today. after you because I'm helping you I was right he's trying to reset project arc he wants to reset it what would that do the world would be destroyed by kaiju everything will be gone they want to start over they want to restart this world from the beginning they've done it before and a reset means you would be erased, too. You're talking about Kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? The Sentinels were built to fight those Kaiju. To defend the world you call home. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There is a supercomputer hidden below your town. We call it Universal Control. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier. Possibly to make you easier to manage. Even I couldn't tell you the real reason. So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. You and I have met many times in your dreams. Oh, that song from my dream. 
You don't mean... You're... You finally realized... This is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast with all my heart. Just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me. But a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. I'm not human anymore. Just data on a computer. But that's exactly how I can still help you. Oh no. He's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel in... Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! She's been reaching out to me. Using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left. Just a mind inside a machine. She's gone. What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? I can already tell this is gonna be a huge mess. Nope. Nope. A girl has asked for my help. I can't just run away from this. I'll go. And I'll figure out the rest when I get there. Any sudden moves and I shoot. Shino Nome Senpai. The door was locked. How did you get in? I broke the lock. With that gun? There was an agent, too. I put him to sleep. Oh, right. You were at the park with him. Are you with the Shady Spy Bureau, too? Yes. So, what do you want with me? I need your Sentinel. My Sentinel? Call it here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. Senpai, I'm sorry. But I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? I have to go stop Ida. <sighs> huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. Past the tunnel? Yeah. That's where the Sentinel's hidden. Apparently. That's some Sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand... ...is how you controlled it without any problems. Piloting a Sentinel damages you. Like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. What? You mean piloting a Sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. It is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. The girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector 1 and Sector 3. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. I'm not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him. But he took Takamiya-san instead. Yuki-chan! What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. But now he's put the gate into lockdown. That means a Sentinel's the only way to shift in. Just up ahead. Wait. Are you 
okay? What is this place? The outer walls of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Oh, whoa, uh... Okay, so you never found out that part. It's a long story. This doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. It's really here. The one I saw at the park. Miyuki and Abba hid it here. So, now what? Well, activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know, it just kind of happened. Uh, what about your activation switch? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? Where nanomachines were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system. So that should be where your switch is. <sighs> oh yeah, I got shot. I think she got me... right around here? Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. So I just swipe it... like this? from number 14. There should be a maintenance hatch somewhere. From there, I could set the shift destination. Okay, let me look. I found it! I think. Where is it? In the back. How's it looking down there? Yuki Inaba needs my help. I have to stop Ida somehow. Or else, he's going to erase her. It doesn't matter. I don't care what group Yuki-chan's wrapped up in. I'm going to save her. Yuki! Freeze! Any closer and I shoot her! So, found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Those emotional impulses of yours really do try my patience. That's not why, Mr. Ida. <gasps> Back 
back in my dream. He called him. We look identical. <sighs> well, it's not just he and. You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all, I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. Dropped me off? I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then, you're saying... You are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. <sighs> Yuki-chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go. I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel. Which means authorization has been restored to you. Yuki-chan, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi... You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Yeah. I love her. You know, under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people indeed. A shame. There is nothing you can do to change this. <sighs> Miyuki... Inaba? So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Inakun, please. Think this over. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. Oh, Miyuki Anaba said something about this. She said she knew me through my ID. Probably because he's the one she was trying to track. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that. But I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communications, but I'm not going to give up. I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are. After all, you're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. That's impossible. Wait, Edekun. I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer. And I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Indeed. A new beginning for you and me. No, you don't understand. Attention! Emergency protocol. Force shut down Sentinel number 16. She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome-kun. Come on. You know you need me. Really? 
That's my girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, all those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me! I'd never use a girl as some tool! <sighs> Little shit! Stop right there! Don't move. Damn it. Hamiguchi-kun, hurry! Right. You hurt, Yuki-chan? Hamiguchi... Shinonome! You can be such an inconvenience. Speaking of... Hamiguchi! Takamiya-kun, I suggest you come quietly, or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch! Yuki-chan, don't risk it! If we could hurry this up... On it, sir. What? They vanished. Did they shift? Yuki... So this goes there... Take this seriously. Hey, you want to do this yourself? Be my guest. Keep it cool. He's doing fine. Yuki-chan, I promised I'd save her. I'm going after her, no matter what it takes. It doesn't seem as if the director's coming back. Which means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Probably best to work together for now. So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. But we'll certainly make an effort. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing, but I'd have no idea how to get us home. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here, deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. Sound about right? Yeah. Come on, out of the way. This is nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki-chan. What am I supposed to do here? <gasps> Where'd the console go? Did it work? No. It just started moving by itself. Ami? Ami Gucci kun The data unit! <laughs> Men in black! <laughs> 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 
Well, well. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. That guy in my dream. He called himself Tsukasa Okino. I feel like we've met somewhere before. As Shinonome senpai told me earlier, there's a second Juro Izumi from another world. He transferred his consciousness into an android. So that must have been what I saw. But still. Why did it look just like my grandma when she was younger? Oh. <clears throat> what? Why the long face? Have another nightmare or something? Knock it off. I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see you. truth this isn't about my lost memories is it you're not trying to restore them you're giving me someone else's what are you talking about they're juro's memories in other words yours the other juro izumi <sighs> you know this one's three times older than you now you live inside me that day at the shrine you jumped out of that robot and possessed me what do you think i am a ghost i had nowhere else to go if it were up to me i would have picked a more welcoming host you know we can't have you causing a scene here your memory needs to be wiped clean let me try one more time. No, I shouldn't. If I run to the nurse's office... I'll put Shinonomi Senpai at risk too. Miss Morimura. <gasps> Chihiro Morimura. That's right. She's the one I saw in my dream. Excuse me. Uh, Karabikun. Is something wrong? You look pale. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Juro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is... something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not for you, Saka-san. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Have you been aware this whole time that Shibakun was inside of me? Or rather, Juro Izumi was. <gasps> you talk too much. You think you can just walk in here and screw everything up? I'm not afraid to shut your mouth. 
Kurabe-kun? Shiba-kun's not actually human. And not only that, he's been manipulating my memories. It seems his goal is to turn me back into Juro Izumi. So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad, he needed a whole new personality. That's how he became... me. Juro Kurabe. If the woman from my dream is actually our teacher, then Tsukasa Okino must be real too. <sighs> Where have I seen him before? Kurabe-kun. That's right. There was a guy standing by the vending machines earlier. He looked just like Tsukasa Okino. Tsukasa Okino, right? You must be mistaken. You even sound like him. You were in that UFO with Juro Izumi, right? You're not making any sense. Sorry, but I don't have time for this. If you'll excuse me. Wait! The UFO wasn't the only time. I know I've met you somewhere else. That's right. I remember now. Prisoner E-426, face forward. The drug has been administered. The perp cannot fight back. Do not be alarmed. It is safe to enter. Prisoner E-426, look up while we're speaking to you. Or would you rather bear the brunt of the electric chair? So this man's the culprit? He's a murderer. He bombed Shikishima, killing countless people. We managed to catch him, but his identity is still unknown. Furthermore, his testimony makes no sense. That's why I've requested your assistance. The name's Onishi. I'm in charge of this investigation. I appreciate your help. Mr. Tsukasa Okino. <sighs> Tsukasa kun. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? No, I'm afraid I've never seen him before. All right then. Your biometrics lead me to believe you're being honest with us. Why did you bring me here? Well, we used a truth serum on the guy. He started saying your name over and over. He also mentioned a student by the name of Chihiro Morimura. This is her photo. Do you recognize her? No. We'll be requesting her cooperation soon enough. But it'll have to wait until next week. She's currently out of the country. In any case, thank you for joining us today. I may ask for your presence again if any new info turns up. Of course. You are free to go. Follow the signs back to the waiting room. <sighs> Do not be alarmed. The perp cannot fight back. <sighs> Mr. Juro Izumi. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? How would I? All I know is... he's a terrorist bomber. Well, we took a look at your DNA. The two of you are a perfect match. It was quite a surprise. What? There's a distinct possibility... that one of you is a clone. That's ridiculous. What does he have to say about it? According to his testimony, he is, in fact, you. 
from the future. As for his motive, he claims he had to commit this crime to prevent the emergence of Kaiju. Kaiju? Huh? Excuse me for a moment. What is it? We're in the middle of an investigation. <sighs> what? An evacuation order? It's on the news? Looks like he's awake. Perfect. I'm almost done. What's going on? Hey, what is this? Calm down, please. High blood pressure generates noise in the scan. Tsukasa Okino? I remember now. I was attacked out of nowhere. Sorry about that. It was the only way. This isn't the most welcoming place, is it? I can't imagine you would have come willingly. You're Tsukasa Okino, aren't you? I saw you in my dream and... you got left behind. I knew there was something odd about you. But that dream of yours is even more surprising than I expected. Juro Izumi, shifting in cycles. There's only one person those memories could have come from. I'm glad I looked into this. To think he'd seek refuge within Juro himself. Do you know him? We call him 426. As of now, he exists as sheer consciousness. That is to say, he lives in your injected nanomachines. At some point, he got in and took over the system area. Go ahead and ask him yourself. <laughs> Shippakun. So this is the guy. He's not quite what I imagined. Don't be deceived. He can alter his appearance however he pleases. You guys can see him? He's under my control now. He can't hurt you anymore. Jeez, Juro. Why you gotta be so obtuse? Tell us the purpose of your disguise. He's trying to take over my mind. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not the one who wanted that. Chihiro Morimura is. Our teacher? She wanted to transplant my memory backups into you. Whatever she could do to match your personality with mine. But Tamao Kurabe didn't like the idea. She created a new personality. The one you have now. But you were using videotapes to alter my memories. Yeah, well... The backups weren't meshing with your simulated personality. You almost had a breakdown, man. So I decided to turn him into something a little more concrete. Something your current self would understand. You should thank me for saving your ass. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Why did you try to help me? Well, if Morimura's plan did work out, There'd just be another copy of me running around. Besides, I don't want to be left watching over your unstable mess. I won't tolerate being used any longer. I'm sick of it. 426. For better or worse, she's given up on the Sentinel Project. Her interest in Juro Karabe has waned. But the Sentinel Project is the only option we have. Wrong. Sentinels can't save us alone. Then what can? You're talking as if you know the answer. I do. I've found an effective means for our survival. Would you like to hear it? 
what we call the UFO. I know who programmed it. It was a certain someone named Tsukasa Okino back in 2188. 2188? It's hard to believe from looking at you now. But he was quite the sloppy programmer. When he designed the environment management system, he borrowed a portion of it from something else. That particular portion contains the D code. It's what's summoning the kaiju. That part of the code was never supposed to be accessed. Or, well, it was. Where was this code reused from? It was a little outdated, even for its time. But it's a little sim game based on mighty kaiju daimos. A daimos game? You're telling me a video game has control over the automated factories? That's how the kaiju are being produced? Where do you think the name Dinos came from? It's not a coincidence, you know. Up until now, we've been forced to play a game we can't win. But just imagine. What if we gained access to the greater system? We've had limited control over it so far. If we fix that, we'll be able to fight on an equal playing field. Think about it. Each time we destroy an enemy, we'll get some kind of meta prize. Like scoring points. With those, we can use the automated factories to strengthen our sentinels. Points, huh? Let's just call them meta chips for now. I still can't trust you. Fine, leave what you want. I don't need your help anymore. Sorry for wasting your time. Do you have any proof of your claims? Uh... There was a log on it, but it's gone. <sighs> You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony in a video game? That's it, Hijiyama! Huh? You saw the log, didn't you? Hijiyama-kun. What was that log all about? You want to find out? Go help that idol who's stuck in orbit. Uh. Well, it's about that time. I need to get going. What? Don't worry. He can't do a thing. Maybe. But a guy like him probably planned ahead. Oh, give the boy a prize! You can be surprisingly sharp at times. Hijiyama. Uh. Hokino! Sorry. You're... Juro! Thank goodness, I made it in time. Yeah, thanks to me talking their ears off. Did you walk through Tar to get here? I'm doing exactly as you told me. Foul-mouthed cat. Did you say cat? Don't worry about erasing his memory. What? But then... What are you talking about? Let's go. Relax. I won't erase your memories either. So it's her. She's the one who's been cooperating with him. Open the airlock. Hijiyama, respond please. I need you to open it. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, Yakushiji. Hijiyama, open the B2 airlock. I'm afraid I can't do that. <sighs> You're well aware of the reason. We're not infected. The vitals detected by your suit tell me otherwise. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Yakushiji. I may be infected, but my daughter isn't. Please check her. It's true. She's not showing any signs of infection just yet. So you'll let her in? 
right? Please. Unfortunately, she is likely still in the incubation period. Just save my daughter, I'm begging you. It's not a risk we can afford to take. You and I, we're comrades, are we? We've been hell and back together. If it's the last thing I ask of you, please, Hijiyama. I'm sorry, Yakushiji. You must understand. <sighs> Hijiyama, halfway through to airlock control. Major Izumi. <clears throat> Izumi-san. I had a feeling you would say that. So I've sealed the airlock on my end. I can't allow you to infect this colony. Don't jump to conclusions. I'm the one getting out. I'll grab a shuttle and retrieve his daughter. We'll give it 24 hours. If she does turn out to be infected, then we'll never return. Simple as that. <sighs> I can't accept this. It's an order, Hijiyama. Sorry, Yokushiji. You're going to have to leave your daughter with me. In the meantime, you'll need to return to the pod you came here in. Are you alright with that? I trust you with her life. My daughter. <sighs> My Megumi. I'll protect her at all costs. I promise. No matter what happens, I intend to fulfill that promise. Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. have been an important memory of yours. Yeah. The log itself may be gone, but I do remember what it was about. And as long as you have my memories, I don't need to explain a thing, do I? Are you really okay with this? Of course not. I want in on the action, too. And yet, you're entrusting it all to me. Even though they kind of turned you into a sissy, in the end, you're still Juro, just like me. I've accepted it. We've all got to play with the hands we're dealt. Fuyusaka's not going to be able to handle him alone. Go for it, Juro. What's going to happen to you? Piloting a Sentinel takes a hell of a lot of brain power. If your nanomachines are focused on that, there won't be much processing power left. In other words, I won't be able to talk to you anymore. But you've got my memories, right? You know what needs to be done. The rest is up to you. You're right. I'll do it. I guess I'll be going then. Right. Put your game face on, Juro. We've taken turns for the last time. Try not to get a game over. Sentinel number 13. Activate. Mighty 
Kaiju Daimos. They're showing it at the theater right now. Huh. He's talking to himself again. future, Shikishima planned to colonize other planets, and the kaiju were tools for terraforming the surface. What are they doing here in the past? Usami-chan, would you like to get grapes on our way home? I'd love to, but I've kind of got somewhere to be. Mm, okay. Do you need something? Uh, not really, sorry. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey, I'm worried about you. Yuri-chan! Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. Well, it's about that time. Yeah. I should head out too. See you, Miwa-chan. Bye! <laughs> Something up? You're staring. Miwako doesn't remember it's a thing. Nothing. Maybe that's for the best. Miwako! I'm heading out! See you! The papers. Miss Morimura forgot them again. There you are. Back at it again with the skirt and wig, huh? What a weirdo. I just didn't get a chance to change. As I said, this is a necessary disguise. Bold words for someone who can't be bothered to make it here on time. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Anyway, you're going to do this for me, right? <sighs> Let's go. Get in position. That's what I should be asking you. Well, whatever. Who's that little cutie? <laughs> Hear that? You're a cutie, apparently. I'm not complaining. Hey, what are you doing? Stay back! They might be with the black suit guys. BJ says he knows them. Natsuno? Usami! You're here too? Why? This little guy led me here. Sekigahara's robot? I see. The two of them will speed up the process. Hello, Okino. I am like this now, but... You're Miura. Sekigahara told me. What is your goal? 
to save the girl trapped in orbit. Then we are on the same path. So you're here to help number 16 too? My own sentinel is there. Sentinel number 17. So that's how it is. Both 16 and 17 were put into orbit. They went to an unknown man-made artifact in space. We've briefly gotten a hold of it from here. But we don't quite understand what it is. Number 16 would know the answer. Last time we got through to her when I touched something over there. But now... It won't respond. Not even with Kisaragi's biometric ID. She's completely inaccessible now. You Amiguchi may know the reason. You wanna know why? Ida did it himself. He shut down her sentinel. Ida, huh? Yeah. Something about authorization? He must have used his security authorization to issue the command. So that's what happened. You created these sentinels. Perhaps you can clear the authorization. Worth a try. Help me out. I mean, Gucci kun surprised me enough as it is. But seriously, you too, Usami? I can't believe you're all time traveling. This is actually where I'm from. Whoa, you came from the future? Does anyone else know about this stuff? Let's see. Yuki chan from Class 1A? Miura kun, too. What? That guy? So, why are you here? I can't turn down a cry for help. Especially not from the one and only Miyuki Inaba. Miyuki Inaba? You mean that idol? Well, yeah. She talked to me through a TV program. You guys call her number 16, but... She's actually another you. song it sounded a little different in the style of the 80s but it's just like when i sang back in middle school and inaba that's my username i became an idol uh, seriously the preparations are complete kisaragi as you scan your ID to grant access, the authorization will be reset, and the Sentinel will reboot. Go ahead and unlock it. Here goes. No good? The Sentinel started up normally. I... I see. Ida couldn't shut me off. We all came to save you. Sorry it's a little late. Thank you. Access is clear. Universal Control doesn't suspect a thing. To it, this appears to be a simple video broadcast. So you're... Miyuki Inaba? Also known as Tomi Kisaragi. Just like you. Please tell me... What is all this? What's going on? I would like information as well. Do you trust me? Well, you're me, right? I won't get anywhere if I can't even trust myself.
The second phase was a resounding success. No way! So the D-forces were used to develop land? Originally, yes. They were designed as heavy machinery for that purpose. You mean, it's really true? We're not on planet Earth. Huh? I've seen it with my own eyes. The whole city's less than 30 kilometers long. I thought it was on a spaceship, though. Unbelievable. What about the other countries I'd been investigating? Universal control alters the information you receive. It does whatever's necessary to make things appear consistent. Shukun is telling the truth. From here, I can see the entirety of the residential ward system. All of the terminal controls, too. You're able to control the satellite from your Sentinel? It does have some limitations, of course. But it is possible. Because... I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Huh? She's the one who designed the second phase of interstellar development. She was a terraforming researcher. Watch this log of hers. February 8th, 2188. Continuing my report from yesterday. I ran the simulation. This was our 25th terraforming attempt. We believe the planet is a Type 57B. In order to reach a habitable state for humanity, the process took 1,800 years. A bit longer than hoped. No further issues up to this point. Oh, and I almost forgot. At Professor Morimura's suggestion, I updated the system on the command ship. It's set to monitor the final phase, surface facilities. Before any harm may come to these facilities, it will determine whether the final phase needs to be redone. As the Professor always says, it can't hurt to be safe. Work has been coming along well. But I honestly can't wait to return to the surface. Uh, what was that? A log from Tori Kizaragi in the year 2188. She said some curious things. Like redoing the final phase. You heard correctly. There's no turning back. Well, what now? Are there any measures we can take? Yes. But I believe there's only one way through this. And what's that? Universal control. It needs to be altered. And the only ones who can do that... ...are all of you. Trust in me. And get into the Sentinels. back. Juro.
I wake you? Am I... Juro Izumi? What? Oh. Are you saying... Do you remember me? You knew about this? That these dreams are really his memories? Please, you have to tell me. His memories haven't returned yet. Is what Bluffy's been doing really working? I hope so. You're... You're Juro Kurabe. Why are you saying that? It's all I can say. I made a promise to Tamao-san. My grandma? Please, don't ask me anything else. I won't be able to continue staying here if you do. I don't understand. Juro. Megami-san, so this is where you went. <sighs> you were with Juro earlier. Hmm, I suppose this is technically the first time we've met. I'm Tamel Karabe. You were crying. Poor thing. Well, what do you want? I know you have feelings for Juro. What does that have to do with anything? You desire to be by his side, do you not? Oh, well, of course I do. Then you will do just that. I'll make the arrangements. What? However, I have two conditions. First, you will treat him as Juro Karabe. Huh? You must not tell him anything about the future. Or about himself. But why? It's the only way to keep him safe. I don't understand. Can you do it? Can you treat him only as Juro Karabe? Well, uh, I... My other condition. If he starts to remember he's Juro Izumi, you must tell me immediately. But he is. Why would that be bad? It would be dangerous if he became Juro Izumi. Very dangerous. The reasons are unimportant. If you agree to these two conditions, you can live with him. <sighs> What will you do? I accept. How wonderful. Here. These documents make it legal for you to live with him. A rental agreement? I'll tell Mori Morrison of our arrangement myself. Please, go to Juro now. Oh. Thank you. Fluffy, can nobody else see you?
sure I'll... So, you've been living at the Karabe house. Oh, yes. Has there been any change? Has he said anything strange? Any confusion about being Juro Izumi? What makes you ask that? It sounds like you know something. Don't tell me. You know something? Excuse me. Karabekun, is something wrong? You look pale. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Jiro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not Fuyusaka-san. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time? <gasps> Kurabe-kun? Juro! What was that about? Hmm. I don't know. Hey. Fluffy, you're talking to me here? Won't other people see? This is an emergency. Juro's been taken. What? That idiot. He got too close to some dangerous people. Dangerous? Those who use magic for their own means. You went there before. The abandoned factory in Higoromocho. They're going to alter his memories. You need to go there again. You need to rescue Juro. Damn it! He's getting too far. He's gone? I knew he wasn't real. No, it doesn't matter. Right now, Juro needs me. Wait! Are you with him? You know Fluffy? Fluffy? Don't worry. He can make you better. <sighs> You're starting to recognize what's in your dreams, aren't you? Do you remember me? It's not exactly like that. I finally understand. These... The things I remember, they aren't from the Juro you know. No, that can't be. Why would you say that? The things I saw in my dreams, they're memories. And the only memory I have of you 
is when I shot and killed you. I was worried. I was so afraid that... that I'd hurt you again. Because I... Who are you? Is there really nothing left? There's no trace of him inside you? No. I betrayed everyone. I betrayed Tommy. It was all a lie. I... I'm such an idiot! Yakushiji. That cat... What was the point? Wait! Sure. Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Shinonome-san? Do you know what year it is? Nineteen... What's the last thing you remember? Four-two-six. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. I see. All right. How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Maybe I should keep you here for further observation. My internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? Make sure you're taking them. Surveillance footage? That's right. I saw something important. I can't remember. Maybe I should go look again. It was in Shikishima's underground facility in 2105. I just need to get to the gate. Izumi-kun. He has the same symptoms as I do. It wasn't a dream. Morimura. She's been modifying personalities with nano machines. She wants to change both me and Iori Fuyusaka into different people. I can't believe what Morimura says. Number 14. Number 14 is my sentinel. Mr. Ida. He didn't die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. How could I... forget something that important? This should make me feel a little better. They said the gate's been sealed, but... what if it's a lie? A way to try and keep me here. important. I knew it wouldn't work. What are you doing? Mori Mora. I locked the gate. You won't be able to use it. I knew it. It was you. 
You disabled the gates, not 426. Stop being ridiculous. You need to take your pills. I won't let those damn mind-controlling pills screw with my head anymore! Who told you that? I saw it for myself. You're trying to mess with both me and Iori Fuyusaka's heads. She's getting worse. The code that infected the Sentinels in 2064. It separates the nanomachines from the rest of your brain. Your memories will keep disappearing. Those pills you've been taking, they inhibit that separation. They try to preserve the link. But its effectiveness has been gradually decreasing. No, I won't believe anything you say. Where's Renya Goto? Are you screwing him up too? It was you, you know. <gasps> you were the cause of the infection. You inserted the code that 426 created. No, just more lies. It's true. Goto. You were conspiring with Morimura this whole time? I've told you the truth a number of times. But you weren't able to accept it. You couldn't hold on to the memory. That's a lie. You messed me up with those pills. You made me confused. It's all there. You just have to remember. The code that infected the Sentinels. DD-426. You were the one that gave it to Sekigahara. You're lying. Mr. Ida, for you to ask for me personally, I can't tell you how happy it made me. I've been waiting. I need you to look at this. An interlocutor update? Code DD426. The nanomachines within you. There is a flaw in the program. It is inhibiting you from unlocking the full extent of their power. But there exists a code to fix it. A flaw? If we implement this, the Sentinel's capabilities will increase greatly. Mori Morrison, however, does not agree. Why? She believes the Sentinels are more than capable as they are. Ugh. Why is she like that? She's always going against you, Mr. Ida. If only everyone was as understanding as you. I want us to give this code a try. It'll be our little secret, of course. And then, Morimura-san will see who was right. All you have to do is put this code into the Sentinel. Okay, I'll do it. Improvement to the Sentinel, huh? Ryoko-san. What was Ida talking to you about? Nothing that concerns you. Guess I'm still just some kid that lives nearby, huh? Akon. A fourth wave is approaching. We need to get ready. I'll put DD-426 into number 14. Or... I'll put it into number 15. 
Akun Sentinel. Mr. Ida's right. And now, Akun will know it too. Do you remember? After you shifted, you went missing. It took a long time to get you back. When we finally did, your condition was already terminal. We've been able to keep it at bay with the medication, but the destruction of your memories has already begun. For you, we tried to reinforce your memories with nanomachines, but it hasn't gone well. We thought if we let you roam free, that your memories would stabilize. However, your memories kept failing. It only made you become further detached from reality. Even still, it is imperative that you remember. Only you can clear the infection within the Sentinels. Because only you know the password. We don't have much time. Please, you must remember. Stop! It's all my fault. You're awake. Who are you? Try and remember. Aikun? That's right. I... I can't remember my name. Ryoko Shinonome. Is that my name? It doesn't sound familiar. Oh, oh right. I need to find... What was I looking for again? I can't remember. You don't have to anymore. You don't have to look for anything, Ryoko-san. More importantly, how are you feeling? I feel... good. Refreshed. Peaceful, even. <sighs> Maybe it's just not possible. The nanomachines linked to her memory have all separated. She barely has any memories left. <sighs> the memories you implanted in her. What are they? We did the same for all of you. When you were connected to the learning devices, you gained the knowledge needed to control the sentinels and the gates. Those memories were backed up in case there was an accident. So she has her memories of what happened before the incident? No, not all of them. We only backed up those which pertain to learning. So all she knows is how to control the Sentinel. Ryoko-san. The password to remove the infection. Gone, along with the rest of her memories. We can no longer rely on the Sentinels. So that's it? You're giving up? There is still one way to use the Sentinels. No. A further exposure to the infection. And there's no guarantee you'll survive. He's not talking about himself. After everything you've taken from her, it still isn't enough. I won't let you put her in the Sentinel. No. No, Akun. Sentinel number 14. It was made just for me, by Mr. Ida. It's my Sentinel. Ryoko-san. I won't let anyone else fight for me.
Churro. He really is gone forever. Are you all right? You by yourself? I am. Are you by yourself too? There's someone coming. Can you stay and talk till then? Making a child wait all by herself. Of course. I'll stay here until they come get you. Where's your friends? Well, I have some at school. No, silly. I'm not talking about them. I mean your friend that told you to update the decode. <gasps> hmm? What's wrong? You look like a scared kitten. Hold it right there. Who are you? Who ordered you to update the decode? Decode? Do you mean the Dimos code? Yep. I know it wasn't you. Tell me who it was. It was a cat. Huh? A fluffy black cat with a white tipped tail. So you caught her? Renya Goto. You're late, Goto kun. Did you know? Do you understand what you did to me? I sealed your powers as a witch. To fight the kaiju. That's what I was told. Witches and cats. Interesting story. I thought you'd be able to see through the ruse a bit more. Wanna know what you shot him with? It was nano machines. They added code to the ones already in their bodies. The code expands the kaiju's capabilities. How strong it will allow them to become. We have no way of knowing. I can't be. The one behind all this. The one who manipulated you. It seems they are trying to take control of the decode. If they succeed, they will also have control of the Sentinel dock in the factory. In other words, we lose all our means of defense. Are you aware of who that cat is? No. That seems bad. He must have known this would happen. He had a plan. That's why he used the girl, so we couldn't trace it back to him. But that very cleverness is what proves it was him. So, who is he? No one you'd have heard of. He's a criminal from the future. A criminal? From the very beginning, it was all lies. I won't forgive him. Not ever. There you are. About time you got back. You lied to me. About everything. You seem mad. But I haven't lied to you. You're a criminal from the future. I know you are. All that about ancient civilizations and curses. You've been playing me for a fool the whole time! I haven't been lying. There is an ancient civilization. This may look like the 20th century, but it's not. Humanity actually died out in the 22nd century. It's been millions of years since then. So, in reality, the 22nd century is an ancient civilization. So you're saying, this isn't the real world? No, more lies!
You convinced me to shoot my friends with this thing. And now you're in control of the kaiju and the sentinels. Was that your goal all along? To end humanity? I've already told you. This is a game. I'm only making preparations. A game where our lives are on the line? Not if things go the way I want them to. I can get you all out of here alive. <laughs> Whose memories are in Juro? Ah, oh, right. That. Those are my memories, actually. <gasps> it's not my fault, though. You really think I'd believe your lies again? No, I don't imagine you would. You were using Juro too, weren't you? It was not my intention. But in the end, that is what happened. You need to give up on trying to bring him back. By the way, I forgot to mention... You're the final witch. But you don't have to meet the same fate as the rest of them. Wait. What? Where is he? It's all my fault. I forced everyone into battle. But the only one who really deserves to die... ...is me. Tony... ...forgive me. To actually shoot yourself like that, it must have really been driving you mad. But don't worry. If you don't fight, there's no way you'll survive. You did what had to be done. I want to apologize about his memories. There were things that happened I didn't expect. But none of that matters to you. There's no excuse. I boasted about how I could bring him back. It may seem like I tricked you, but I really did all that I could. I had no ill intent. Well, there may be a little. I just wanted him to become the Juro of my world. I wanted to control his feelings of love. Almost like a parent to their child. I wanted my desires to become his own. I guess I hesitated once I saw the depth of your feelings. There was still some human left in me, after all. You might not believe me, but I really have become fond of you. Megumi Yakushiji. The days we spent together were surprisingly fun. It gave me an odd feeling. As if I were on holiday with a cheeky daughter. You left me some nice memories. And now it's up to all of you. I've made all the preparations I could. Since I was unable to hold up my end of our contract, 
This is goodbye. If our plan succeeds, I want you to live out the rest of your life with Juro. Take care, and good luck. Yakushiji. Juro. What happened? Did you shoot yourself in the stomach with that gun? Please, wait. Just hear me out. Ever since I last saw you, I've been thinking about the dreams I had. None of that matters now. I dream of myself inside the Sentinel. I've seen it over and over. I fight in the Sentinel. Taking down Kaiju after Kaiju. Struggling in pain. Fighting like some kind of possessed demon. Right arm destroyed. Damage immense. Pilot must cease control. I still have my left arm. Abnormality detected in life support. Emergency release of Sentinel pilot. Initiating. No, cancel release. I'll continue to pilot. Override command. I won't let them destroy Megumi City. This place is home to all our memories. Life support limit reached. Emergency release procedure. Initiating. No, cancel the release. I'm not done yet. The more I thought about it, the clearer it became. The only one who has experience piloting Sentinels is the Juro Izumi you know. These are his memories. In battle, he was always calling out someone's name. I didn't realize it at first, but... I know it now. It was your name. He was fighting for you. Juro... I'm not... I'm not Juro Izumi anymore. But my feelings are the same. Maybe it's because of his memories. But even so, none of that matters to me now. Because I... well... I love you. My feelings for you are just as strong and true as Izumi's. Do you not feel the same way? Thank you, but... He really was trying. Just like he said. He was trying to get his memories back. What do I... It's true that uh, I'm not... I may not be as strong as him. But I don't care. I will protect you. With everything that I have. No. I'll never let you fight on your own again. I'll fight to protect you too, Juro. I wouldn't have it any other way. Does that mean... Yakushiji? And I... Oh. 
I'll try my best. For you, Fluffy. Jero, I told you so many times, but you still went without me. This time, it will be different. This time, it's my turn to save you. I hope you're watching, Fluffy. I will beat this game. Sentinel, activate! Here, I can no longer rely on Shikishima. Miss Murimura's death has left the Shikishima execs in disarray. Now they won't let me spearhead the Sentinel Project, as if I'm just a child. I doubt my opinion will weigh much in their discussions going forward. Miss Morimura, why did you have to die? That was pretty quick, Goto-kun. I checked the corpse at the police station. It was yours, Miss Morimura. There's no doubt about it. Is that so? You don't seem too shocked about your death. Well, it didn't exactly stop me. Here I am, safe and sound. I suppose that's true. This refers to the humans who can control the UFO's mainframe. Those compatible have nanomachines implanted in their bodies. Ever since the battle that ended with the Sentinels infected, Miss Morimura has been pushing this operation as one of its fiercest supporters. So, what did the police say? The cause of death was a gunshot to the abdominal area. No bullet was found in the body. Though it's easy to imagine why. The murder weapon was likely from beyond this time, beyond material bullets. Estimated time of death is approximately 1900 hours. You were witnessed running off somewhere with a short-haired student. According to a pedestrian's eyewitness account, anyway. They found a witness. This era's police really did their due diligence. There should have been that drone tracking her movement. So, anything helpful in its footage? The timing couldn't have been worse. It looks like it was monitoring the government's movement at the time. So she wasn't even under surveillance. I see. Any thoughts as to our primary suspect? Who do you think did it? Well... An acquaintance of Miss Morimura. Described as a short-haired male in a student uniform. Most likely A. Sekigahara. 
The witness statement matches the description of A. Sekigahara. It did seem like something was wrong with A. Sekigahara's memories. I wouldn't be surprised if he was our murderer. Though it raises the question of why he bothered to lure her out. Surely a murderer's optimal scenario is to avoid being spotted at all. Well, maybe it wasn't premeditated. He could have killed her by accident. Well, he certainly is the type to brood over things. I can say he's not enough of an idiot to shoot someone on impulse. Who else could it be? That man with that... call sign? Some numerical name. Logically speaking, he would naturally be another potential suspect. He did attempt to eradicate all the compatibles. He's a dangerous individual, and he's still at large. All that's left of 426 is his consciousness. I don't think I could reliably predict his behavior. He's desperate enough to do anything. 426 certainly isn't above killing. If Ida-san were here, I'm sure he'd declare 426 our primary suspect. We know he killed at least four people. That's why I shot him dead in the end. If he resurrected himself as an android, maybe... ...that would give him a chance at revenge. As a motive, it sounds pretty clear-cut. Aside from Miss Morimura and Ida-san... ...four others came here for refuge 16 years ago. By the time I'd started assisting Miss Morimura's efforts, they'd already lost their physical bodies. Fortunately, we were able to use the data stored in Sector Zero. This allowed us to meld their replicated consciousness with AI. As for how they lost their bodies in the first place, reportedly 426 is doing. He destroyed them all in one fell swoop. According to Ida-san's account, anyway. But if number 16 is to be believed, that's not what really happened. And Miss Morimura should be aware of that. I spoke with the pilot of Sentinel number 16. Back then, she gave Miss Morimura something nobody else would. The truth. What do you mean? Could you go over that again? Uh... Our defensive maneuvers failed. So we decided to stick to the plan. We all headed to the gate to escape. But there was an explosion while we were shifting. From what I can tell, the Type 98 we were shifting in got attacked. But that's the last thing I remember. After that, Nothing. But... that means... Is that how your data was damaged? It wasn't some plot by 426 after all? Just... an explosion? We never did manage to completely reconstruct your data. I thought it was just that you didn't get converted in time, but... You were... You were all dead before the shift even happened. Itakun. You said he killed the four of them. I know you did. You said he sabotaged them, killed them. Given the chance, he certainly would have. You lied to me? He already tried to kill us all in the past. You know he'd have tried again if we left him alive. Killing him was the right call. No. That means... Miss Morimura, I have one more question. What is it? Regarding 426, would you say you had any particular feelings toward him? Feelings? Well, he was certainly a good friend. 
I felt like he really understood me. Well, used to, anyway. Where's this coming from? That doesn't make sense. According to number 18, or should I say, to Mao-san. I'd like to revisit something you just mentioned. About 426 killing at least four individuals. Do you really not remember? Remember what? You've read my files, I presume? I gathered quite a lot of material in the past. Most of it is rather outdated, including Ida-san's statement concerning those victims. In other words, your answer is objectively incorrect. Really? Well, can you blame me? Look at this body I'm stuck with. I'm bound to have some memories confused. I had a hunch about Miss Morimura's feelings. And my discussion with Tamao-san only confirmed my suspicions. Otokun. I'm sorry for this. I know it's sudden. I need to talk to you. Did something happen? It's about Mori Morrison. She's been transplanting 426's memories onto Juro Kun.
just found out. 426? As in the escaped android? No, not that one. She's using the memory data of the man himself. It was saved during the shift. In other words, she's trying to use Juro to create another 426? I did my best to talk her down. She's letting me handle Juokun's treatment now. Still, I don't think she's given up on this. Why is she trying to bring back 426? Well, I've been giving her some advice about it. And I understand where she's coming from, but... <sighs> Mori Morrison is in love with him. <sighs> with 426? Maybe she always has been. That's why she wants him back as a human. But she has to know the risks. He's a dangerous man. True, but that's not exactly what she's remembering. Besides, she's the one who killed him. That guilt is still eating at her. <sighs> Watch over Mori Morrison. And try to keep her away from Juro-kun if you can. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I can barely take the idea of one 426, let alone two. <sighs> so I was right. Miss Morimura did have feelings for someone. When Juro Izumi lost his memories, you aimed to use him to revive 426. Make one a vessel for the other. <laughs> one reason seems most likely. You harbored romantic feelings for him. Me? <laughs> With him? You're joking. That Chihiro Morimura was mind-hacked, remember? You said so yourself. If you recall, I suggested that Miss Morimura was mind-hacked. That idea was based on a certain piece of evidence I found. One particular log. What log? If you really are Miss Morimura, then you should already know. Two years before you were born, Ida-san extracted some information from 426 that in turn led to the discovery of the data log in question. As for the log itself, it contains footage from the year 2188. It was found buried in the mainframe data during the analysis of 426. You seem very disturbed by me seeing that file. So much so, in fact, that you ended up deleting all of your logs. Would you mind telling me why you did that? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, at the very least, its contents suggested a connection to 426. Or even that he had been manipulating Miss Morimura. The log contained a very interesting report. Apparently, Juro Izumi downloaded memories onto Chihiro Morimura's clone.
But what the hell can we do about it? At least now I have proof. You're all hypocrites anyway. Yes, including you, jackass. So who even cares anymore? None of this matters. We're all dead anyway. <sighs> The log inconveniently revealed one of your secrets. One you were desperate to keep me away from. So you deleted it. That's my theory anyway. Remember where this all began? It was the compatibility experiment. The one that produced you. Based off Miss Morimura's footage and your own admissions, I've completely misjudged the situation. All this time, I believed you were her. But even from the very beginning, you've been your own person. So, what are you saying? I'm not Chihiro Morimura? If I'm not a duplicate of Chihiro Morimura, then who exactly do you think I am? You are Chihiro Morimura. Well, there you have it. No, not Miss Morimura, the teacher. Professor Chihiro Morimura. The one from the year 2188. And the central figure of Shikishima's interstellar development project. Chihiro-san. Look at that sunset. Just like it was back then. It's beautiful. I'm guessing you were monitoring me with a drone? I have one locked on to you, yes. Their target's changed. They're coming back this way. It's dangerous here. We need to get you to safety. Don't tell me you're worried about me. How about you mind your own business? You already know how I feel. This is what I wanted. Still... More importantly, can you really afford to waste your time here? Or have you already given up? The invasion is still in its preliminary phase. I've got time. First, I need to get you somewhere safe. There are no safe places left. <sighs> At least, none left for us. We're not safe anywhere. But you know that well enough. 
You're just losing precious time. Go focus on the job you're supposed to be doing. <sighs> Understood. I'll go. You'll find it safer towards the river. If, hypothetically, you wanted to know. Wait. As long as we're both here, there's something I want to clear up. So, tell me. You were in love with Miss Morimura, weren't you? <sighs> you said she was mind-hacked. But it was more about you being jealous, wasn't it? That's hardly... This may be our last chance to talk. Answer me. <sighs> you... are correct. Is that what you wanted to hear? That I was driven by some cheap, naive impulse? That I... that I can't think about anything else? And that's why you brought back my memory, too. Isn't it? <sighs> you never cared how you managed to do it. You just wanted her back. So much. I'm glad. You really were a slave to your desires. That's the Renya Goto I remember. It means... I don't have to like you after all. Thank you. I think that's all I wanted to hear. Professor, I... You should go. After all, we still have our bet. Although it looks like I'm about to win it. routes that way. Can I bring her, too? Hey! That's fine. Just hurry up. Strange. I know this is my first time here, but this suddenly makes me feel so... nostalgic. Sunsets will do that, I find, regardless of time period. Yes, but... this must be... well, I suppose it must be one of those places. So? Where am I going? I've rented an apartment under a false name. Can't be any worse than our last accommodations. 
As long as it's not rubble, I'll take it. My apologies. If it's any comfort, I'm certain nobody will find you there. Not Shikishima, and certainly not Miss Morimura. I suppose we have Ida-san to thank for all this. The funds and paperwork he prepared were invaluable. Tetsuya Ida. And he's still missing, is he? Yes. Let's go. Chihiro-san. <sighs> you think I'm the professor? That is what I said. You are Professor Chihiro Morimura, a major figure in Shikishima in the year 2188, namely the leader of its space initiative. What are you even talking about? Just some hypotheticals. A possible interpretation of the evidence I found. Okay, say I am the professor. Remember, Miss Morimura is the one who created me. You think that was her plan? She wanted a host for the professor and not herself? How would that make sense? Miss Morimura ran an experiment to grant her clone compatibility. She believed that you were synchronized to her. <sighs> she believed it was her own data she transmitted. But it was the other Chihiro Morimura in Sector Zero. And of course, you entered the world as a newborn. Incapable of verbal communication. So Miss Morimura never realized her mistake. This is all speculation. Certainly. Yes. But if I'm right, and you are the professor, I imagine you were in quite a panic yourself. All things considered, it was a staggering deviation from the original plan. What original plan? Among the logs from 2188, one of Tetsuya Ida's noted that he'd found an anomaly. Chihiro Morimura was set to undergo a memory transplant in the final phase. And the final phase, well, that would be us. I don't know where you think you're going with this. A bit of patience, please. There's a little more context I need to provide. Ever since the battle that ended with the Sentinels infected, Miss Morimura has been pushing this operation as one of its fiercest supporters. This refers to the humans who can control that those compatible have nanomachines implanted in their bodies. The log from the future I saw first. That would be the comms log I found with my own ID. The first log I checked held some surprises. The author seemed to be an elderly Renya Goto. And the date of recording appeared to be 2188. I assumed it was some future version of myself. One that had time traveled into the far future. But now, I don't think that's the case. I believe it's the other way around. In other words, I myself I'm a clone of him. <sighs> Every individual I saw in that log footage, they all created clones of themselves. Clones? Huh? I did find a log that proves this point. What did you see? A comms log between you and Professor Takamiya. Her field is genetic engineering, I note.
Professor Takamiya. How are the projections on those self-replicating probes? The simulations look good. Especially the survey range. We never expected a rate of expansion that high. It was definitely the right call to prioritize its strength as a group over individual units. These probes are pretty much living machines now. They self-replicate using natural resources mined from asteroids in their routing. They'll just keep building up and breaking down. An infinite cycle of self-replication on its way to its target. There's basically zero chance of the tech failing midway through. They'll just keep on going. Probably long after humanity's gone. Glad I came to an expert, then. All that's left is the refinement of the memory cube. The infrastructural storage cell, right? The cube's made up of five identical memory layers. In theory, it'll compare itself to nearby probes and use them as a template for repairs. And if it can't be repaired, well... Fine. One probe down. We've got thousands more. And our passengers? I'll be loading them up with the DNA of all the survivors. I've already got samples and data from all 15. Now it's just down to launching them. These clones will go with all our hopes on their shoulders. By the way, what do we do about him? I mean, after that DNA test. <sighs> we do nothing. He doesn't have to know. What could I even say to him? Not much, I guess. There were 15 survivors of that colony, each with a clone established to be compatible. Though they grew up in different eras, different worlds. And you... You aimed to replace your clone's memories with your own. That was your real plan. <sighs> right now, I imagine your biggest question is precisely how much of that log I've seen. Am I close? <laughs> you do have a genius mind, but also the form of a child. I imagine it's harder than usual to hide your agitation. It's absolutely not... <laughs> now you're just trying to trick me? I'd say, based on that log, Professors Takamiya and Morimura seem to know each other quite well. Maybe you'd know something about that. Of course not. Then perhaps instead, Tsukasa Okino? <sighs> Being compatible, that makes one part of his identity clear. He's one of the 15 from the year 2188. So, any theories? Who was he in the year 2188? Uh. Care to guess? Stop it. No? Then allow me to clarify. That boy, Tsukasa Okino, is Professor Chihiro Morimura's son. But not her child by personal, conventional birth. The professor donated her egg cells as a young woman, in accordance with the policies on population control. Their blood relationship.